Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And today, we're going to talk about the 7 star units uh, that will get their uh, awakening tomorrow after maintenance. And uh, we're going to go over, over all of them. We're going to have Ace, Ayaka, Emperor, Knight Delita, Mercenary Ramza, Nyx, Onion Knight, Queen, Roberta, Titus and Transterra. So I'm not gonna go over all of the units because this is gonna be like an hour long video and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me talk for an hour. So we're just gonna cover the nice and basic stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, that they will get. So we're gonna go over the Super Trust Master. Master Ace right here will get the Black Trump. Uh, so basically it's a throwing weapon, attack 62 and magic 169. It's really really good. And uh, if you guys want to put that on your future 7 star Veritas of Delight, that thing could be really, really nice. So, uh, his abilities, he gets a lot of uh, random stuff, basically like it's a Spirit Hand and a Tri-Beam Laser. So, uh, you have a chance, let's say we're just going to use the first one, so right here at level 105, uh, you have a random chance to cast AoE 20% damage uh, reduction for your party and uh, boost to defense and spirit by 80%. You also have an AoE 30% damage reduction. Uh, for three turns with AOE defense and spirit buff for the whole party that's a 40% chance to get that and the last one AOE 40% damage reduction for three turns AOE plus 140% to defense and spirit for three turns and that's a 10% chance to get that uh, so basically right here uh, you guys can see that they're really really good things it's just that it's really random and chances of you getting that 40% uh, damage reduction plus 140% on defense and spirit. Uh, chances are really low, but still not bad nonetheless. So I'm not going to cover everything. I'm just going to leave it there. So if you guys want to go check out by yourself, uh, shout out to XVSDB for that. I'm using the Japanese uh, stats. So if you guys, pardon me if it's not exactly what is released on global, but I'm just using the Japanese one. So we're going to move on to Ayaka. Uh, arguably the best healer with uh, Lotus Mage Fina, or Super Trust Master, Serapia's Staff, Attack 12, 166 Spirit. <laughs> For you guys out there with uh, the Leela Spirit build. 15% uh, to HP and 15% to MP, so this is really, really, really nice. Uh, one of her things that she gets when she's 7 star, she basically casts an AoE barrier. For your whole party so you increase uh let's say your hp by 3000 for your whole party so the boss when it attacks you basically it has to break that shield before it touches your hp so aoe 3000 hp barrier for three turns revive with 100 percent on a four turn cooldown and you guys can cast that on turn one so this right here is amazing if you guys have a yaka and uh you basically want to make her seven star probably use that unit of choice ticket on her because she is gonna be a stupid stupid good uh seven star unit to have and uh, to make sure that your party doesn't die already she makes sure that your party doesn't die so imagine as a seven star so that's we're just gonna move on we're gonna go fast fast like that mr emperor is gonna be next a super trust master it's basically a piece of materia 60 percent to magic 10% to HP and 50% to fire resistance, which is really good if you guys want to make those uh, fire resistance build. Uh, one thing that he gets when he's 7 star, basically gives him the chance to uh, dual cast is a uh, is fire from below. So you're going to be able to cast fire from below two, uh, two times, which is going to be really, really, really good. If I can find, uh, let's see if I can find that right here. There you go. Use so uh, requires Matthew's Malice, so the second you give him his own TMR, you're going to be able to use uh, Fire From Below twice. And uh, Fire From Below is no joke, uh, no joke as I'm saying it bad. Uh, we're going to go right here. So if you awaken it, uh, is that the Awakening? Enhancements, there you go, sorry. Uh, so single target, 250% magic attack with 250% per turn for 10 times and you break the fire resistance by 25% for two turns basically you're just going to keep casting fire from below fire from below fire from below and you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage since as a seven star his damage is going to be boosted by a lot then mr emperor thumbs up buddy uh next we're going to go over knight delita and then mercenary ramza they basically get something really really simple but we're just going to go over them. Super Trust Master, Materia, Attack 30%, Defense 30%, and uh, 
HP 30% plus 50% uh, to um, human killer. So basically you do an extra 50% to humans. Uh, really, really good Super Trust Master. Already his Trust Master is amazing and his Super Trust Master is even better. Uh, the thing that he gets that we're going to go over, uh, he has a really strong AoE one hit finisher. The only thing is it's on a five turn cooldown and it's available on turn six. Basically, it takes a little bit of time to build. Uh, the other good thing that he has, he has Raging Inferno that we're going to go over with Mercenary Ramza. He's basically going to be able to chain with Mercenary Ramza. But other than that, Knight Delita, not that great. You know, he has those little breaks here and there, but uh, his Super Trust Master is really good. So if you guys have four of him, go for it. Next, we're going to go over Mercenary Ramza. So like I was saying, uh, he has Raging Inferno, which we're going to be able to chain with Knight Delita. But a Super Trust Master first, uh, Reverie Shield, really, really, really good. Defense 92, Spirit 84, Defense 20%, and def uh, Spirit 20%. So that shield on a tank is actually really, really, really amazing. And uh, that Super Trust Master is really good. I'm actually only missing one. So if I can get a fourth one, I'm going to be really happy to get that Trust Master because this is amazing. Then... We're going to go over the skills that he gets as a 7 star. Basically, he has an AoE magic cover and an AoE physical cover. So, Vanguard uh, Protector, 75% chance to defend allies with a 50% damage reduction for 3 turns. On a 2-turn two, two cooldown, available on turn 1. And Rear Protector, 75% chance to defend allies with 50% damage reduction for 3 turns. On a 2-turn two, two, two cooldown, available on turn 1. So, he's going to be able to play like Bosch. Where you can literally do uh, AoE magic and AoE physical cover. And one good thing that he gets as a 7 star guys. Right here. And trust. So he's going to be able to give his limit burst to anybody. So for those units with really really high demanding crystal for their limit burst. Well if you can max out Mercenary Ramza nice and quick. You can entrust your limit burst to any other unit. So this <clears throat> right here is actually really really nice. Uh, really cool Mercenary Ramza. You actually get a thumbs up. Better than your Knight Delita friend, but we'll see how good you can work as a 7 star. So, let's move on to the next one. Mr. Nyx. We're going to go over the Super Trust Master. Nyx Dagger. Uh, attack 158. Defense uh, plus 50. Also, HP plus 20%, which is really, really nice. And 20% resistance to all elements. Uh, this is actually really, really nice. So, if you guys have multiple Nyx... Go for that thing. The 20% resistance to all element is really, really, really nice. Then the one thing that uh, we're going to go over for, over for Nyx is basically what he gets at uh, level 110. And trusted future. AoE. Except for Caster because he dies. So he's going to fill 20 LB to all units in the party. With 100% chance to insta-kill himself on a 19 turn cooldown available on turn 1. So, uh... You want to nuke a boss down, you have, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, three uh, seven-star EO. You want to max out their limit burst, go for it. Uh, you have uh, Nyx, you just insta-kill him. They require 30 limit burst crystals, so you basically kill them. You use CG Nicole, build up that limit burst with a uh, dual cast ability. Not dual cast, with their link stance, and you boost the attack and, let's say, the defense. You get that extra two crystals, and bam, you can triple chain your Hyos right off the bat. So this is what uh, Mr. Nyx does. So that thing is actually really, really nice. Uh, right here also, Life Giver. Uh, no, that's a six star, sorry. Ready for that seven star. Self, 100% uh, to attack, defense, magic, and spirit for three turns. Enable access to Risky Slash for one turn on a four turn cooldown. So other than that, Nyx, uh, if you're just going to nuke down somebody by boosting up your limit burst, that's what he's there for. And his Super Trust Master is really, really nice. But other than that, not that crazy about that Mr. Nyx. We're going to move on next. Mr. M Mini Onion Knight, because he's really, really cool. Super Trust Master, basically increase attack by 80% when equipped with a sword and 50% physical damage to Reapers. So he's going to increase... Uh, is damaged by 50% when fighting Reaper Monster. Uh, 7 star abilities. This is where it really, really shines a little bit. AoE 20 hit move with a 1100% physical attack 
on a two turn a two, two turn cooldown sorry about that available on turn three so on turn three if you have two on your knights that's seven star you can dish out a lot of damage and at level 110 basically for three turns he's going to be able to boost his damage by 50 percent uh versus beast monster so let's say you do this right here then you do this move right here you can do a lot of damage with mr onion knight so yes mr onion knight really good super trust master and a really nice ability to chain and do even more damage then we're gonna go over queen which uh let's be honest she dropped a lot since her release so her super trust master lucid lenses uh attack plus 55 which is really really nice and 100 percent to 100 uh, percent to ignore up to one fatal attack when hp is above one percent so that thing is actually really really nice that attack in 55 it's crazy and the fact that you can resist uh aoe uh ko when your hp is above one percent once that's really 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 nice other than that uh she's not too crazy to be honest I, I don't think you're going to see people using her that much. Uh, her abilities are nice. Single target, 12 hit with a 550% multiplier to physical attack. Uh, same thing here. S uh, single target, 1 hit. 375% physical attack with a north defense uh, by 50%. Other than that, you know, for me, she's just not crazy. Except here with her single target with a 1500% modifier to physical attack with losing 95% of her HP on a two turn cooldown available on turn three so she can do a lot of damage you just have to build her up uh to do that damage but she's if you guys thought that dark knight cecil wanted to kill himself every time he attacks she she really wants to kill herself she uh queen don't die don't die but her super trust master is actually really nice if you guys have four of her go for that trust master other than that i'm not too crazy about her but uh you know that's how just seven star goes so next one Unfortunately, there's no, uh, there's nothing on JP about Roberto Seven Star, so we can't really cover abilities. But uh, let's just wait and see what Gumi has to say and uh, the data mine when it comes out for Roberta. But other than that, guys, sorry, there's nothing about Roberta. We're just gonna have to wait after maintenance to see exactly what she does. Then we're gonna go over our last two ones, which is probably gonna be my uh, favorite one because I've been waiting a long time for this guy. You guys can see the smile right here, the Colgate smile. Colgate smile. So, wait. Super Trust Master. Praying Child's Dream. So, ability. You're going to slap that as a materia. It's going to boost the Esper stat by 50% and increase your LB gauge fill rate by 150%. Really, really nice since you're going to be able to... Uh, boost your raw damage by a lot with the esper also because he's going to be he's going to become a true double hand character uh is lb gauge fill rate yes because you want to be able to imperil enemies by 100 percent for water for five turns so yes this is a really nice super trust master for him but also for any other true double hand unit uh we're gonna go over the things you get jack shot two single target one hit 800 percent physical attack with single target, 65% resistance down for 5 turns, which is really, really nice. Then he has delay attack, single target, 1 hit, 360% physical attack. Enables access to uh, enables access to quick hit, spiral cut, uh, energy rain, jack shot, get pump, jack shot 2 for two, uh, twice for 2 turns. So you're going to be able to dual cast technically uh, or just cast the ability twice of quick hit. So this is how you're going to be able to chain. Uh, let's say you do jack shot right here so you put the water element on uh let's say fixed dice and then you just quick hit and you do all kinds of damage this is how this guy is gonna work and trust me tomorrow after maintenance this dude is gonna get a seven star because oh my god that ultima weapon that he has right here in his hand looks sick and yes i said the brotherhood but this is basically the ultima weapon that he gets in final fantasy 10 so my bad for everybody who wanted to slap me in the face because i said the wrong thing then he's gonna get delay buster as we're going back on the skills single target one hit with a 450 percent uh modify on physical attack enables access to quick hit spiral cut energy rain jack shot get pump jack shot two for three times for three turns so basically you're gonna be able to triple cast for three turns uh which is pretty crazy because let's say you do this you can literally do jack shot so you're gonna put water element on your attack and then you can literally do quick hit twice which is pretty crazy because 
you know, this is what you want to do. You want to be able to triple cast and do all kinds of damage with this guy. And yes, can't wait. Titus, it's been a long time. You're going to get your 7 star, buddy. You're going to get your 7 star. Then, we're going to go over the last one, guys. Transterra, I know this video has been long and everything, but please bear with me. We're almost done. Our Super Trust Master, I find it really, really good. Basically, def it's an accessory. Defense 3, Spirit 3. Uh, plus 33% to MP, which is really, really nice, and basically reduces the MP consumption of all your skills by 50%. So already your Chaos Wave, uh, when you do a magical activation, costs zero. Chaos Wave basically here will now cost you, let's say, 17 MP. So basically you'll be able to cast Chaos Wave twice for the technically the cost of one Chaos Wave. So for any magic users out there, because you know 7 star, they tend to use their MP a lot, so this right here is actually really, really nice. Uh, the only thing is I'm not sure if it only, uh, it only reduces MP cost on magic attack or basically MP cost on anything. Because if it's anything, man, this is going to be good. So if you guys out there have four Transterra, go for this. And you guys have two Transterra, go for it, because this is where it gets crazy. So uh, you guys can see it's in Japanese right here. AoE magic attack 400% modifier with a 200% uh, increase in modifier per turn for six turns uh, up to six times. So basically, it's almost like uh, fire from below, where the more you use it, the more damage you do, and she gets the same thing for fire. Then her uh, move at level 110 enables access to chaos wave, uh, chaos wave awaken. Basically, the two moves here for four times. For four turns and she buff her magic by 120% for three turns on a five turn cooldown available on turn one. So turn one, you're doing this. Bam. Turn two, you're basically quadruple casting Chaos Wave Awaken Plus. This is crazy. The amount of damage that this girl is going to be to, uh, to be able to dish out is going to be super, super crazy. So if you guys out there have two Transterras, you're going to be flying because those events, uh, the new event with, uh, what's her name, the two Malboros. If, if she destroyed Malboro the first time, she's going to be able to destroy Malboro a second time, which is crazy. She gets so much power that, uh, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, I have nothing else to say. Transterra, you're the real MVP girl because, man, the amount of damage you're going to be able to do is crazy. Guys, so what is the unit that you're going to be awakening first after maintenance? Hopefully it's tomorrow, but I'm just putting this video out there because I want you guys to know exactly what type of units they're becoming as a 7 star. So they're going to be pretty crazy. Uh, shout out once again to XVSDB. You guys can check the, uh, the link right here on top as I'm trying to cover up my face. Uh, so you guys can go check it, uh, check it out. Uh, there's a lot of information about all the units, so this is actually really, really good, especially when you want to compare JP and Global. And uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. Thank you so much for all the new subscriber. And yes, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.